Lady friends, hello there. It is Sonia and Matt coming to you tonight from Lanier, Pennsylvania, here in our shop at Jug Monkey Paint Company. Who's on with us tonight? Who has been sticking through it as we have been painting? What? This is night four, night fourteen, right? Day fourteen. I've been on this island now for fourteen days. All right. I'm going to add another little stroke up here. You see that, Matt? Does it bother you? God, Does it bother you that the one yes. strokes on that side yes, and the three yes, are on the other? Yes, okay. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Did I just laugh evilly? I can't help it, right? I just can't help it. So anyway, tonight we are going to be getting into another project. Meet my fine friend right here. Listen, let's give a little whoop whoop to Matt, okay? Because he found this monstrosity that I love. Because if you can look beyond the brownie, frowny, ugly, can you say it with me? Ugliness of this piece. You will know that beyond it is a just, you know, a piece waiting to blossom out of its shell, right? You guys know what I'm talking about. It came with two handles. Heck yeah, that's always a bonus when you find the existing hardware. For somebody who likes to upcycle on a budget, I'm not all about getting fancy hardware and spending tons of money in new hardware. I'm about trying to use what we've already got, okay? So tonight, you can see these really have been used and abused. Come take a look over here, Matt. They've got like this, like almost like black brass. You know when the patina kind of changes on these old um, brassy sets? And uh, you know that's okay though. We're gonna we're gonna jazz them up a little bit because I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab some of our right here our candy bar brown. Okay, we have one brown. I think in life that's all you need. All right, one that's all you need. You just need a candy bar all. brown. Okay, yes. perfect for um, just perfect for like you know if you're doing the plank style, rustic styles. Love this brown that we have to the point that we never even added another brown. We just you can do so much with it. Whoa, look at that. Did you see that? Did you see that? Yeah. It like played yeah. jump frog. All right, so just open this lovely can of yumminess tonight. I'm gonna get a little bit on my shabby chip brush here, and this is what I do. I'm gonna do this part first before I get into the piece because I want this to dry, right? So existing hardware, looking all used and abused. When I'm going with a rustic look, I pull out my candy bar brown. You know that this stuff sticks to metal and um, glass and fake wood and real wood and everything else, pretty much everything under the sun, right? So this is what I love to do. I love to add a little bit of brown onto it. Actually, I can get it right off the lid. It tones down that brassiness. Gives me that really cool cowboy kind of look, right? You know what's also fun to do is if you're ever doing rustic, this looks really good if you add a little bit of the Teal River, like pounce a little bit of the Teal River on first. Pounce, pounce it, right? Pounce. pounce it, pounce it, pounce it on first. Let that dry. Then go over it with a little bit of the brown. You see a little bit of that like turquoisey kind of color coming through. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like think about like cowboy boots, you know, and barbed wire. You know what I'm getting? You know what I'm saying? You picking up what I'm laying down? Matt is looking at me right now, and apparently he's not picking up what I'm laying down. Who are you? What? The aliens have overtaken me. Listen, I am on a roll tonight, all right? So we're going to let this dry right here and let it do its thing. I'm loving that. I could go darker later if I want to, but I think right now I'm going to love it and leave that right there. So let's go ahead and put our paint away. Let it do its thing. I've got a fan on above me tonight, so it's going to take care of that, right? Boom. Love it. So who's on with us tonight? Tell me. Everybody. Everybody. Your mom and dad's on. Hey, tonight. mom and dad. Your sister's on. Hey, Anna Banana? Yeah. Oh, I wasn't sure. Who else? Your sister -in -law. Do you have another I sister? I haven't seen Anna Banana on here in a while. That's why okay. I was like, oh, Anna Banana? Uh, Darlene Powell was our first victim tonight. I mean, <laughs> first on tonight. To now. Okay. Cool. Colson says hi. Lisa Hello. Joyle says hi from Montreal. Uh, Tara's Montreal. watching from the treadmill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Karen says only, oh no, one more day. No. Well, we always come back. <laughs> We always do. We're like oh, athletes. Yes. Here. We always come back. So. <laughs> so remember, quick tip before I get any further. For those of you looking for something to clean your projects with, please use a crack cutter. Yes, you can get it at Walmart. We pretty much always have Walmarts all throughout this lovely country. So no, we don't go get grab paid some for cut, promoting cut, it. No. <laughs> no, right? Crack cutter is just one of my favorite things to use. <laughs> and I want to share that with my friends, right? Nothing soapy or anything like that that's going to repel your paint, all right? So true story. Clean it. Dry it. You always want to make sure your piece is completely dry before you start to paint right next up let's come in here and talk about this a little bit this is wood on the side this is like oops got a big old chip here let's just rip that off oh, right now that. you just tore yeah it. totally it was hanging off it did needed to come that? off yes listen i don't care when i buy pieces of furniture like this that has chips and dents and dings i tell you that with my entire heart because you know what 
I'm a shabby painter. I love that shabby distressed look anyhow. So that is just life that happens to this piece of furniture. So we're just gonna go with it, right? So it doesn't have to be like, oh my gosh, this piece is not perfect. We're not striving for perfect pieces here, right? We're real painters doing hey, real man. live painting with pieces that have seen years of use. So, but on the top, while the side over here, can you hear it, is like wood, Stop. you can see it, right? Stop. You can see it. Stop what? We have a newbie from New York. Say hello, hello. hello to Elena Thomas. Elena, yes. thank you for being on here, Elena. Oh, yes. we will know. You will learn lots, right? Everybody say hello to wow. Elena. Yeah. Tony says, hey, for sheet's sake, I made the live. <laughs> Always watching. I think half a new, I think half a new yeah, yeah. Always watching. I think, I think half a new Philan's on tonight. Yay! Oh, I'm so excited. Well I love when people back home come on and say Australia, hello. Australia, New Zealand. Yay! Uh, I saw one of our buddies All around from the world. Mexico. Nice. Okay, real quick while I do this while you're talking. So the sod, you saw me, right? I just went ahead and chipped this full piece off right here. It was hanging off of here. Could I have glued it on? Yes. Could I have picked it off even? Yes, absolutely. That was the easiest thing. I went with that. Okay, let's be honest here. So this is solid wood here, but the top is not. It's like this shiny nothingness, okay? It just looks like, can you see it when you do the top view? It looks like it has wood grain, but there's this shellac over the top yeah. of it, right? You, know, you could curl on it. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, exactly, as in curling, as in throw them down. That's what you're talking about, oh, right? Nancy. But look what I'm going to do, guys. Take a sand pad. And yes, our paint's going to stick to it, but first, I'm going to actually help prep it a little bit and give it a little bit more teeth by just taking those same sand pads that I tell you guys about. I use, go to junkmonkeypaint.com if you want these same ones. This grit works perfect. Do you see what's happening there as I swirl it? If you're up close, are you catching that? You can actually see all the little swirlies, all the scratches that this pad is now putting into the top. And what that's doing is basically, it's kind of like the same thing, ladies, when you go and you get your nails done and they buff your nails before you get your nails painted, right? It helps your nail polish hang on longer. The the headbands haven't been released for retail yet. Nope. Yes. Maybe so, tomorrow night. Uh, Maybe tomorrow night. I want to say uh, hi to all to the Alabama crew who's here tonight. And Oklahoma is here nice. too. Uh, all right. So we did that, right? Wait, 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 Boom. Wait, wait, wait. Done. Oh, uh we have Lamerle Zarnecki is here, okay. new gal from Illinois. Very nice. Hello. Oh, very nice. Yes. There you Yay. Go. Yeah, you know what? Good sister. Good sister. Bridget, you Heck and that yeah. cowgirl bag. Gosh. She's, she probably likes my rustic candles. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah. They're all dry so, right now. So, um, right? listen, really, really um, all fabulous. right, so here's the deal, yeah. What? Okay, here we go. So, the deal for tonight is who wants $20 to spend at the online store? It jump yes, monkey paint company. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's ready to paint the town red. You yes. guys have asked us to be like, Will you paint something in red, Sonia, please? This is our red apple. So tonight we're gonna paint the town uh -huh. red, all right? So we're gonna go with if you can imagine rustic handles. Yeah. We got a red right here. Oh, you said my name right. There you go, See, babe. I, I'm yes. so good at that. So tonight I'm gonna show you how quick it is to do what's called a brush and roll, okay? You can use any brush you want. I'm going to use my Klingon brush. Just use something that has a full, you know, a nice full brush. Um, the kind that I always say that feels like when you put it on your cheek, you feel like you should be using it for, like, for us ladies as blush. Now, this piece is interesting. It's got a top drawer up here. And, of course, we took the handles off, so now I have to try to pry it open. But look at all the space that's in here, right? Like, seriously, this is like, whoo, it could be a potato bin for heck's sake. I could put a so, small child in yes, there. Yes, you could. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to, but yes, you could. <laughs> all right, so anyway, oh no, you see what I just did? I pushed that all the way back in there. All right, that's okay, that's okay. Let me see here. All right, Let's so, um, no, it's a bright red. It's not a barn red. Nope, this is uh, our red Bridget, apple. Bridget said it's Radar's favorite color. Oh, hey, nice. Jamie Todd is on. Hey, Jamie Todd, how are ya? Um, so, yeah, so here's the deal. If you want $20, you know, you know what you need to do. You need to share this, and then you need to mark share it underneath. And then one lucky person will be picked, and then you'll have till midnight to uh, uh, write us with your information at yep. junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com okay. before midnight Eastern Standard Time. You got it. Or like you don't said. win. So I've just got a little mini roller here right now, and it's nothing crazy. It's just one of those sponge ones, right? Nothing. Now, if I'm working on kitchen cabinets or something like that, I'm going with a, a special roller. <laughs> For what I'm doing right here, a rustic looking piece, where this is going to work just perfectly, right? Yeah. So, let's get it nice and loaded really well on your brush. Tracy, I got or on you. on your roller. I, I got you, Tracy. All right. Tracy said, send me $20 and I will send you a small child. <laughs> 
<laughs> too funny. You know, I'm realizing if I push this in, I could totally paint this because it goes in far enough that it actually shows the frame, which is a complete bonus, right? Okay, I gotta get on this side because I'm right-handed. And uh, let's go. So this is how I go at it, okay? Like, Are you ready? I'm gonna kill myself. All right, if you blink too time. fast, this piece might be over and done with, okay? I just want you to know. No! Because this is gonna be a really quick piece because right now you're thinking, how the heck is that a quick piece? Well, I'll tell you how easy it is. You grab a brush and you just go bananas. That's all you have to do, right? Wow. Yeah, you seriously. Really, you really thought that one through. I did. You? It's brilliant. I mean, listen, when we came out for the tagline, we were like, you know, what could it be? Grab a brush and go bananas. In this case, grab a roller too if you want it, all right? So we did the brush and now we're going to do the roll. And we're just going to put the roller all on top of it and let that settle down really, really nice. And then we'll keep going. So yeah. the brush and roll. Bridget really wants that cowgirl back. She's still talking about it. For days on end. Funny. She likes it. Girl yes. knows what she likes, right? Yes. All right, so again, we need to do the brush part. This is the part where the roller can't fit. It's not hard, right? Just come around, bring it around town, as SpongeBob likes to say. All right, so are you breathing deeply because I said SpongeBob again? No, I, no. I, I'm breathing deeply because I almost fell asleep. What? Yeah. I, I feel tired. You feel tired. But I tell you what, I've been taking that melatonin yeah. night, and it's been helping me sleep very, like well. Right. Other than my dog waking me up five times last night to uh, decide so funny. what he's no, he, he didn't know what he wanted to do. Huh. Wasn't sure if he wanted to eat or drink or whatever. But right. Uh, yeah. Other than that, it was like that. Nice. Know? I love that. I love, love, love. So um, All right, let's keep going. Melissa said. Mm -hmm. I have a piece kind of like that, yep. but bigger, and it said on the bottom, bean box. Bean box. Yes, bean box. Why the okay. roller? Just to be faster, just to show you guys what a brush and roll is, right? You basically take your brush and you put it in the areas that a roller can't fit, and it's a great way if you have lots of flat surface on your piece, if you're trying to complete a piece. You know, like let's say, for example, you're like, oh my gosh, I got company coming over this weekend. I wish I could spruce my house up just a little bit. What can I do? Go grab a brush. And a roller, and you can see how fast you can totally flip a piece. So easy. You can just use a brush too <laughs> if you want, right? So, um, yeah, so Ooh, the uh, roller set was yep. $2.97. I'm going to put some I'm at gonna, your local Walmart. I'm going to put a few brush marks in here because I do like that because I'm going rustic, remember? All right, let's go over here and work on the side. Oh my gosh. Let's see here. You going to be able to stay upright? I don't know. I got to go get the kid too. Oh, all right. So there we go. I when I roll, I kind of do my edges. That goes right down in there. Boom. See you later. Yeah, you alligator. can use it on stairs. We've used it on floors. We've used it on everything. The sealer is what really make it. Is this acrylic paint? No, it's not. It's our own paint. It's Jump Monkey, chalky style paint. Yep. The one, the only, often imitated, never duplicated. <laughs> a truly one of the kind formula. Heck yeah. I'm getting right. better at that. Boom. Yeah. Look at that. See. This is why I'm using a roller, all right? All over it. I'm all over it, just like that. So if you have a big wide surface and you don't want to get uh, brush marks, you know, and the only thing is when you do roll it on, I mean, you could leave it with one coat if you want, but of course, a I find that a roller puts it on much lighter than a, um, a brush would. So that means that I would actually do two coats over everything versus, you know, really putting on a thicker sort of uh, coverage with the brush, right? But if I want, I can add a few little brush marks in there. Brush, brush, brush. Um, the, the reason why is uh, we're just using something that's a quick. Yep, something um, different. There, there are special rollers that we use in the cabinet. But the thing of it is, is yeah, I mean, cabinets are something that you're really nice. gonna, <laughs> you're really gonna want to spend the money on and get right, because yeah. this is one thing that, if this is a five dollar piece, if you screw it up, yes, Matt you can throw it out. Four dollars. Yeah. I mean, look at that tag yeah. right there. You see that? Look at this right here. Come right there. Take a look. Four. Yeah. 99, yeah, this is right? nothing like your cabinet, so yeah, yeah you really want to... But a lot of people send me messages and like, I see that you brush the paint on. Can you roll it on? Heck yeah, you can. That's why just, we're doing yeah, it. Yeah, just pick your own preference, right? Yeah. Pick your weapons of choice and go at it. But look how fast, guys. We've already got some color on this piece. So let's go ahead and do the top. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you picking up what I'm laying down? Are you picking up what I'm laying down? Love the knee, some color. So let's talk about tomorrow. Piece. Tomorrow's going to be our last day for a few weeks. 
I mean, Sonya will be popping on everyone now and again. For a challenge, you mean? Yeah, for the challenge, right? Yeah. So, anyways. What's our next challenge, guys? What do you think our next challenge? I don't know, be? but I'm gonna hire somebody to do the next challenge. I'm right, going really? to pay them. Matt's dying. So. All right, come over here and take a look <laughs> at the other side, guys. Come take a look. I love how that's all. You see how I'm already like, adding a little bit. If you can see, this is like not your typical sponge uh, mark. It's actually the finish on it was a little bit raised and crackled, so you can see it is starting to show through. Yeah, and you see right there. here, as I start to put the second layer on, I just yeah. kind of dabbed it right there. Yeah. You just wait till we put our second layer on. That's when it comes to life. If you're using a roller, and I'm going to be honest with you, even when you're using reds, because reds Jamie, are those colors. Jimmy Todd has volunteered. To do my to be my camera woman? Yeah, I think. Oh, that's I terrific. Think Jamie Todd is the only one. I think can. she could be an amazing yes. camera woman, actually. She, she could be like one of the few that could. Uh, yes, could pull it off. Actually hold my water. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, totally. Might have to look that up, right? Brush. How fun if would that be? If you don't have a cling brush, what brush do you recommend? Use a Wooster brush. W-O-O-S-T-E-R. Yes. And guys, guess Short what cut. I was working on today? And Getting a whole brushes. bunch to come in. And chip brushes for the shabby look, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, but I was working today, guys, on setting up with um, Wooster to get brushes available on our website. So that way, when you get your paint, you can get your brush all in one place. And you can get the exact same ones that one that I use and recommend. Okay, so that's coming. And you can still see it's the coming. look. You can see the fake wood grain. It's already <laughs> dry. Isn't that crazy? It's already dry right there. Oh my gosh, I'm excited because I know when I put my next layer on. He said, "Wow, Matt, thank you. Be, you won't if you if you end up doing it, you won't be saying it after, <laughs> about, the, after about the third day." Matt wants to fall over about the third day. Yeah. Yeah. I will say, going going live this many days in a row. Has anybody ever tried it on here before? It just takes stamina. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, it's very, too, it's very it's draining. It's very mentally draining. It is. Um, yeah, you wouldn't think it, but wow. you, you do. You think a lot. And for me, when I go live, I'm painting a piece of furniture, so it's very physical as well, right? Yeah. So it does. It takes a lot, but so, I love going live. So next challenge, mix two techniques on one piece. Two techniques on one piece, like a mixed media type challenge? I like that. All right, you gonna come on the back over here? Mm, 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 come over really. here. I don't bite. Come on now. Don't, don't on let her lie now. to you. She bites hard. No, just gently. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put that all around. So what I do with my, when I use a brush and roll, Linda, Linda. is I like to do my edging, basically like frame it out with the brush. Mm, 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 mm. All right. This color is red apple. Galen said she'd come from New Zealand to be your camera girl. Oh, how fun would that be? Yeah. Oh, guys, that would be so amazing. Mm -hmm. That would be so amazing. I bet it's hard to get on here and watch every night. I only miss one episode. Yeah, well, after we get done... Thank you for watching us, guys. We go back and we watch the whole thing and then critique each other. <laughs> and then we, uh, then we argue for, like, 20 minutes saying, well, if you don't like it, you know, you can get somebody else to be your camera person. There you go. Or you're like, I won't even do this anymore if you're just going to criticize me. On you know on on my painting technique and what you were doing of missing spots you know right. so you pick out little things and then you turn them into big things right <laughs> it's what you do as husband and wife right yes yes keeps the bond strong yeah yeah, yeah. exactly yeah all right or let's get we want to throw stuff yeah and it usually ends up like I'm not going to do it anymore you can get somebody we're else throw to do stuff it. is that what we're doing now yeah. okay all right well you know this sounds of... really Jerry Springer now <laughs> no, it's not that bad but it gets to the point at the end of the night where it goes. Nice. I'm not going to do Look. it anymore. One of us goes, I'm not going to do it anymore. Really? It's usually you. All right, <laughs> come over here. What do you guys think, right? Love, love, love how this red is laying down. Guys, it's dry right now. Seriously, I've got a fan above me, and I didn't even, like, have to take the heat gun to it, right? So there's still some parts that are wet, but now what I'm going to do is circle myself around back to the beginning. Kat, Kathy said, "You remember, you are blessed. I am a blessed woman. Patty, Patty said, that's more I... That's a what? That's right. some more. Uh, Janet said, uh, I can't imagine y'all fussing. <laughs> fussing? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Look how nice this red is coming out. And yes, somebody's thinking right now, girl, you got to pull that door out. You know what? I will in just a moment here, but I want to get it on. So I got that lovely, lovely first layer down. Can you do something you with the black how? glaze for day 15? Black glaze. I'm sure day I could. 15. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Linda says it's mostly matte matte. Thank, thank <laughs> I can tell when my bread's buttered. Matt's the diva, okay? Yes. Of this, uh, see, of this I operation. Was, I was right? crying. See, I, you know, 
when I, when I cry, you gotta right. let me cry. Right. Oh, I love this. I'm kind of liking with like what I have going down here with maybe just pulling my brush over for my second layer. I might just do that because I can still.